Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are going to start a, a tutorial series for React Native. So, if you don't know about the React Natives, I want to tell you that React Native is technology which is, uh, here you can make a applications for uh, Android, iOS, and Win Windows also. So, let's get started. So, first of all, just go with the official website of React Native and just choose the option with the build project with the native code and here we have to run this some commands and before that you must have installed the node and uh, android studio also so after just follow some instruction from here uh, you will get a uh, you you have to run these commands which is react native init and your project name so i'm going to start with that which is react native at my project name is project and just enter now it will take some time to install the project and after that we have to go uh, in the project and run react native and uh, run this command react native run android uh, and this will create a build in your uh, android simulator and i will get back to you just after installing uh, the project here because it will take some time uh, around 5 to 10 minutes so i'm going to pause the video Uh, read the environment yes. now we have to go in the directory this is she telling us so I have to go cd project and actually I am waiting for that to read the Android device actually I think my system is ready just pause the video for some seconds for, for a few seconds now Android already is ready to use so I am going to run the command which is telling that the command prompt which is react native run android and just put the enter now just after some time you can see the project in this list and just the middle time we can open our project in uh, code editor so just open the react uh, build studio and just remove the old one and open project from here and go to a directory open the project from here just click ok yes this is my project and this is also taking some time around 2 to 3 minutes and but you can see that here the changes here what what kind of configuration is done by this command and guys this application is purely native and the uh, the code is the code is run on the node.js so here you can see that the project structure uh, this is the ios folder and this is our android folder and this is the app.js where you can see some code here and this is a package.json and here you can see that the all uh, the dependencies and just this is uh, used for test cases and you can see that the project name version and uh, whenever we are going to install
install some more module you can see that you can see them here so let's check it's almost done around 79 percent and after that in this tutorial we are going to some a uh, very minor changes uh, according to android uh, you can see that one more thing this is also important uh, this is uh, uh, index.js so by default this is file is gonna run every time so just and this is your app name and whenever you have the change in name of project uh, the, uh, the class name is also changed and the index file also will change uh, this is your project name and if you change the uh, name of your project then it will uh, automatically change with the uh, installing time so you can see that this is almost ready and you can see that here this is a project which is installed now as an app and I'm going to some changes here which is that welcome to react native project and let's see with some changes here you can see that the changes are live and now you can see some options here if you enable the live reloading then whenever you are going to change here and save it it will change it automatically like I do not need to refresh here it will uh, going to refresh automatically and some more options are here which is a toggle options which is help you to uh, make better styling you can see that everything and this is the network here you can see the old request which is sent by uh, your application and if you are going to hit an APIs and all you can see that everything here just after click here you can see that everything here so thanks guys thanks for our first video and next video we are going to start with the project some style and some minor changes to uh, understand the basics like uh, what is the state uh, state and what is the props and how this code is going to work and if you are not uh, familiar with the javascript then i will tell you some uh, tips that you can how you can learn these things and all thanks guys thanks for watching this video please subscribe our channel for more videos